Welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry about my throat. I've been kind of under the weather the past couple of days. Um, but I wanted to share with you all um, something that I realized that's super important um, in just, I guess, in the direct sales world just in general. And it's something that I hear all the time from my upline. Um, but sometimes, you know, these these lessons, we don't really learn them until we experience them ourselves. And it is the power of, you know, putting up images, putting up videos um, on our social media sites that are, they share our love for Posh. Or if you're in another direct sales company, they share your love for your product without being salesy, without saying, hey, we're having this great sale this weekend. Or saying, hey, you know, come check out this super awesome deal that's going on right now. Um, or, hey, come join my VIP group because I've got this cool thing going on. Those all have their place, no mistake. But there's also a super big spot. The, the majority of the spot should just be you sharing your love for your product, for it just being a natural part of your life. And this was demonstrated to me last week um, when I was making a grocery list. Um, I decided it wasn't just groceries. I had to get some other stuff. So I ended up at Walmart. And... Um, it had been in my mind before I went there, I think I even wrote it down on my to-do list or on my shopping list that I wanted to buy some orange juice, okay? And that's not just like, okay, people may buy orange juice all the time, but that's not normal for me. Not because I don't like orange juice, I actually really do like it. It's just not something that I buy all the time. Um, and I ended up buying orange juice, and not just orange juice, but while I was there I saw orange juice with mango. So I was like, heck, I'll try that. I like to try new things. Let's try it out. I'm not a big mango fan, but my daughter is. She's crazy about mango. She's crazy about oranges, so I knew if I didn't like it, she would drink it. Um, so I ended up walking out of Walmart with this bottle of orange juice. Now, how did I end up in Walmart buying orange juice? Like, I hadn't even thought about orange juice for months, you know, it's not, like I said, it's not something I typically buy. However, I'm watching this TV show, okay, and I don't know what it is about people in this TV show, but for breakfast, everyone at breakfast is always drinking orange juice. Maybe it's just like the most nice breakfast beverage that shows up on camera. I don't know if that's like a visual thing that they decide. And, you know, they have the pretty glasses and everything, the things that they pour from that no one ever owns. Um, at least I've never seen them. But anyways, everyone was always drinking orange juice. And so every time I would see one of these breakfast scenes, I'd be like, oh my gosh, orange juice sounds so good right now. And it's not like they were talking about orange juice. It's not like it was even like an important part of the storyline. They were just drinking orange juice. It was just there in the picture. Um, and I could see it. And so, you know, episode after episode, scene after scene, I would see this orange juice. And finally I was like, you know what? Next time I'm at the store, next time I'm at the store, I'm going to get some orange juice. And the reason I thought that is just because it was there in my mind. Um, I was constantly seeing it. It wasn't being pushed at me, but I was seeing it in pictures. I was seeing it in the actions of the actors. Um, so the same is true on your, um, on your social media sites. You don't have to constantly be flashing it in people's faces, but as long as it's consistent, as long as people are seeing your selfies, um, maybe you're out with some girlfriends, or maybe you had some girlfriends over, you did face masks, you know, take a s selfie, say, hey, we're having fun, just hanging out, girls night, you don't have to say anything about the face masks. Um, maybe you had a hand cream, you don't have to say, wow, this hand cream is fabulous, but you could just say, oh yeah, taking a little me time, or oh, I really love the scent of key lime pie. That still is right now one of my hand down, hands down favorite Big Fat Yummy hand creams. Really love key lime pie. We could say, key lime pie always takes me away, you know? And you didn't say anything about hand cream, but then that it could just come up or people will just see the bottle. Um, but the point is, you don't always have to be salesy for people to see your product, to have it in their mind, to have them thinking about it. Because, and I know I'm guilty of this too, just because someone sees your post doesn't mean they're necessarily going to comment on it or even say anything, but they are thinking about it. Um, because, like I said, 
I was thinking about the orange juice, but I never told anybody. I was just in my mind, and next thing I knew, I was buying orange juice. So I just wanted to share this little story with you, um, mostly just to encourage you. Um, just, you know, sometimes because we feel like we're reaching out to people, um, we're talking to people, but we don't feel like we're getting a lot of feedback. But as long as you are being consistent, as long as you are, you know, sharing, not selling all the time, but sharing your love for your product, um, with your friends, your family, your customers, um, they are thinking about it. It is in their mind. And, you know, it could be a few days, it could be a few weeks, it could even be a few months. Um, but eventually you will reap the rewards of those seeds that you have sown. Um, and I'm sharing this because I need to hear this more than anyone. This is something that I still struggle with, and I've been doing this for several months now. Um, so I hope this helps you. I hope it encourages you. Um, and maybe it gave you all a little bit of a laugh. I know I still think it's funny um, that I learned such a big lesson from a bottle of orange juice. And as you can see, my daughter did love it. I'm not such a big fan of it, um, but she did love it. So next time, we're sticking with just plain orange juice. But anyways, if y'all have any questions, comments, let me know. I'd love to hear them. Uh, drop them in the comment section below. Find me on Facebook. Thank y'all so much for watching. Please give this video a big old thumbs up. And thank you for being a faithful subscriber. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.